I'm Alan Fritz. I'm uh, the wheat breeder at Kansas State University based out of Manhattan, a uh, professor in the Department of Agronomy. And my team and I developed the variety 1863, which was released this July. We're excited about this variety. We think it has a lot of potential. In plant breeding, it takes about 10 to 12 years to go from the time we make a cross until we release a variety. So this was a cross that was made in 2002. And uh, between an overly sister and Carl 92, and then the result of that cross was, was then crossed with Cutter. And through the years we've made the selections and tested this line and uh, are pretty excited about the potential that it brings to Kansas farmers. As a variety, we think it's gonna do pretty well in the north central part of the state. That's where it's done the best in our testing. Uh, it's a medium maturity variety. Uh, it's pretty intermediate for stripe rust resistance. We've had several races over the years, kind of have to define it by the different race reactions, but it's intermediate to most of the races that we've had. Uh, at this point, it's probably moderately susceptible to leaf rust. Uh, it's a high tiller variety, uh, has, and it has excellent quality, which was one of the reasons that we re released it, is that it's a very good baking quality wheat. It has good acid soil tolerance, uh, good resistance to soil-borne mosaic uh, virus, so we think it has a good package for, for most of Central Kansas, but again, the medium, 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 late maturity probably brings it a little bit farther north into north central Kansas. One of the important things about the breeding program is that we work as a team with a number of researchers at K-State. Uh, we can't do all of the things ourselves, and one of the things that, uh, one of the areas where that's true is in the milling and baking department. Uh, so we develop the lines, and then we submit them to Becky Miller in the baking lab uh, in the grain science department and she returns the data to us and makes suggestions on quality decisions. And so throughout the development of this variety, uh, Becky gave us back data uh, at every stage of testing uh, on the quality of it. I'm very excited to be part of introducing the newest wheat variety, which is called 1863. If you're not aware, 1863 was the year that K-State was founded. It's very exciting that this new wheat variety is called 1863 because it does fit with the tradition and the quality of wheat varieties that are produced at Kansas State. Bakers that are utilizing hard wheat flour are typically making bread or bread type products. So the characteristics in a wheat variety that they are looking for are high protein and a strong gluten strength to make good quality pan bread. 1863 addresses the quality needs of producers, millers, and bakers and carries on the tradition and the quality of the K-State Wheat Breeding Program.